gonna start sitting up. Well, let me just pop everyone on mute. I'm just like a headless chicken. Right, so we'll start sitting up. If you wanna get a cushion, then you can either come into a kneeling position or to a cross-legged position. And also, if you just really don't want to sit up, <laughs> please just lay down because, oh, George has gone back into the waiting room. <laughs> Let's get her back in. Um, I just don't mind. Um, Georgia? Are you there, Georgia? I feel like you're here twice now, but never mind. Okay, so we're sitting up. And when you get to your seat, just do a few little rolls through the shoulders. Do a few little rolls through the wrists and just keeping the eyes open to start. Just take in your surroundings, the space that you're in. Notice any sounds that you can hear that are close by or far away. If there is chaos close by, it's all good because we can still start to access that internal environment that is just yours. So when you've had a little bit of a wiggle around, let's find some stillness here. Either hands can come in the lap. If you place one palm on top of the other, this is the symbol for peace, the mudra for peace, or you can just let the hands rest on the legs or hand to heart, hand to belly, whatever suits you. And together, let's take a slow, steady breath in through the nose, filling the belly up. And out, let the eyes close. Soften through the shoulders and relax the belly. And just take a few more breaths like that in through the nose, the belly will fill with air. And as you breathe out with a sigh, allow those sighs to just start easing you away from, as well as easing away from you, whatever you have encountered today, whatever has come to you that isn't yours, that it's not needed, that you don't need to keep with you any longer. So we just take these moments here to settle into the body. And in your own time, when you feel ready to, just really relax the mouth, the teeth, the tongue and the jawline. But start to direct the breath in and out through the nose. As you breathe, see if you can keep any tension creeping out of the face, the shoulders. And it may even be here that you lightly lay the hands on the belly or to the lower ribs so you can really feel that expansion that happens in the belly. Just intending to take those breaths out of the chest and into the belly so that we can begin to calm the nervous system, soothe the body, and let the body know that all is well. So this is our Thrive class this Thursday night, and we are in the first week of March now. And March for us is all about marching to the beat of our own drum. And so much of that just comes from listening to your own intuition, using your own discernment to filter out what feels right and true, leaving the rest to one side. And we have this whole hour and hour ahead of us where you really can listen to your body, use your own intuition and just be guided by yourself. This is a great, great place to practice that. And the more we can practice that, the more we can be connected to our intuition, the greater opportunity we will have to thrive and the easier it will be for us to thrive and rise into this life. So let's just take a moment to take the hands into prayer at the heart center, let go of the head, just let the chin fall in towards the chest bringing that sense of humility into our practice, onto our mats. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And out, let it go. Just committing, if you can, to using your own intuition, listening to your body. 
As you now just let the arms fall down and let the eyes blink open. Lovely. So we're going to start to move through the body now. So let's take a nice deep breath in. Just reach the arms back. Stretch the arms as wide as you can if you have the space. Just gently lift the chin. And on your out breath, flip the backs of the hands forwards towards me. Draw the belly in. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. And let the backs of the hands lightly kiss together. So three more like that. On the in-breath, reach the arms wide. Maybe you take some little circles with the arms as you reach back and you open the chest. And on that out breath, arms reach forwards, belly to spine, chin to chest, opening the back of the body. See if you can connect your breath with your movement here. So as you breathe in through the nose, you feel the expansion and the opening across the heart. And on the out breath, opening still the back of the heart now, chin tucks. Last time, reaching out through the arms, letting the fingers spread, palms open, chance to draw some energy in. And as you breathe out, clearing the breath, pushing away whatever need and be here. So as we reach wide this time, we'll take the hands to an interlace behind and just draw the knuckles down and away. If you want to take a few little wiggles here or some sways over to the right and the left, then you can. Breathing into those shoulders, breathing into the upper back. And then we'll keep that interlaced, but we'll take both of the hands round towards the right hip. So press the palms together and tuck the elbows in, start to relax the shoulders. And from here, right ear comes down towards right shoulder. So you'll start to feel a stretch across the left side of the neck, this really big muscle down the left side, where lots of us carry lots of tension. Also the head is being supported all day by these muscles. So when you get here, just take it easy. It might be that you take some gentle movement, either tucking the chin in, maybe looking down to the mat, and then looking up to your ceiling, but just going super gently, super easy. Keep tucking the elbows in, keep softening down through the shoulders. And you can stay with this if you like, or if you want a slightly deeper stretch, you can take the right hand up and over towards that left ear and start to draw the head down either keeping the left hand wrapped towards the right hip or stretching that left hand away. Just take some nice slow gentle breaths here, exploring either the stillness or some gentle movement. Literally do this for an hour, I think. And then nice and carefully, if you've got the hand to the left ear, just slide the hand around towards the right ear, gently lift the head up, Good, and then again we'll breathe in, hands interlace behind, placing the other thumb at the front of the grip this time, draw the knuckles down, lift the chest, and then hands come round towards the left hip crease this time. As you take the hands round, just drop the shoulders back and down and tuck the elbows in. Good, left ear comes over towards the left shoulder now. And you just start to take some gentle movement, feeling the right side of the neck. It might even be supportive to you if you make some funky Faces with the mouth, like stretching open and looking in different directions to feel where that tension might be. Text neck, some people call it. So just feel in there. And if you want to go for that deeper stretch, left hand comes to right ear and you draw gently the head down. So without any real forcing, perhaps the right fingertips reach away. So just see whatever option feels best for you, but we'll take two more breaths here. Either basking in the stillness or easing into the movement. Good, and then slowly, carefully easing that head back up, using the hand to support. Nice deep breath in, reaching the arms back, spread the fingers wide. And this time we'll take the left hand down beside us and reach up and over through that right arm. So nice deep stretch through the right side. So if you can keep pressing that right hip down and soften the shoulders down. You can keep the left arm straight, or if you want to go a little deeper, start to bend that left elbow. And then perhaps you draw that right arm back. So you feel the stretch slightly differently into the ribs and the waist. Chest might revolve up towards the ceiling, but one more breath there to reach. 
and then passing that through center, take the right fingertips down, reaching up and over through that left side this time. Again, drop down through the shoulders, keeping the right arm straight to start. And then if you want to find a little bit more depth, bending through that right elbow, maybe that left elbow starts to bend too, or you can really extend to the left fingertips. Take one more breath there, and then nice and slow, we'll come back through to center. Okay, so one more deep breath in here, arms reach back, lift the chest. And this time as you reach the hands forwards, lift yourself up onto all fours and just take a few little wiggles. So I often say here, move intuitively, but if you're not really sure what that is, then just start with some kind of circular motion. So circling a little over the wrists, circling a little into the hips. Notice what feels good, what feels a little bit sticky, reversing those circles, maybe you start to get a little bit snaky into the spine. And close the eyes, of course, that often really helps to just take us away from the external and draw us inside a little easier to tap into your intuition there. So when you've had a little bit of a wiggle around, We'll find our tabletop position with the wrists underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. <laughs> but someone's trying to break it. <laughs> so you Ross, don't worry. So we'll slide down onto the forearms, elbows underneath the shoulders, and then tuck the ten toes underneath you. Press down through the forearms, gazing down between the forearms. And then as you breathe in, let the belly fall, untuck the toes, press into the shins, roll the shoulders down, look forwards. And on your out breath, draw the belly in towards the back of the spine, chin in towards the chest, dome through the upper back. You can tuck the toes here if you like to, to stretch the soles of the feet. So taking our cat cow here on our forearms, on the in breath, draw the heart through, soften the shoulders down, soften through the neck. And out breath, chin tucks, doming through the upper back, pushing down through those forearms. One more time, slow and steady. Starting to mobilize the spine, waking the body up. Out breath, chin tucks in towards the chest, doming the upper back. And then here as you come back through to center, step both of your feet towards the back of the mat, coming into a forearm plank. So just check in here, push down through the forearms and relax the shoulders away from the ears. Press back through the heels and check the hips. They're nice and low, but no sagging there. If it's too much for you, keep this length in the spine, but let the knees come down. So we're going to take those same movements with the spine, but working a little bit deeper into the core. So either we've got the knees lightly touching down, or we've got the knees lifted. As you breathe in, draw the chest forwards. And as you breathe out, push down through the forearms, chin to chest, round through the upper back. Two more like that, slow, steady breath in. Slow, steady breath out to round. One more time, breathing in, squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes. Out breath, lift up, and then slowly let the knees come down, let the hips come down, and find yourself in your sphinx pose. So you might need to tuck the elbows in, soften the shoulders down, and release the shoulders away from the ears. Take the feet nice and wide, press down through the tops of the feet, squeeze the bum. Take a breath in from here to open the chest. And then just breathe into the sensations that you have here. If you were enjoying those little neck stretches earlier, you could take a few little semicircular rolls. Feeling into the neck. And then as we come back through to center, we're going to lift into our puppy pose, also known as our heart to earth pose. So take a strong press down through those forearms, lift the hips up and start to straighten out through the arms as you line the hips up above the knees and let the chest come forwards and down. The chin can come down to the mat. Sorry, the forehead can come down to the mat rather, or you can take the chin out of the chest and look forwards. If you've got a little cushion nearby, you can always use that to support underneath your chest, but really work here to push down through the shin bones, push down through the hands, and if it feels too much, you can always take the hands wider, soften down through those elbows. If you want a little more, hands can come closer together 
and you can lift the palms up, but press the fingertips down. As you just breathe here into the armpit, chest, the upper back, keep the belly nice and firm. Let's take one more breath here. And then slowly slide yourself forward, come all the way down onto the belly. Good stuff, taking the forehead down, taking the chest down and feet once more come out nice and wide. This time hands next to the ribs, elbows tucked in. We're gonna take three baby cobras. So root down through the tops of the feet and the hip bones, squeeze the bum. And as you breathe in, take a light pull back action with the hands so that you can lift the chest up and you're really activating the lower back. We'll hold it here, squeeze the bottom of the legs, and then lift the hands away from the mat. Imagine that you are squeezing the elbows into the sides of the waist. Take one more breath here, lift up. And as you breathe out, let the forehead come down, but keep the arms lifted, keep the legs engaged. So breathe into lift, squeeze the elbows in. Out, breath to lower. Two more like that, breathe in, lift up. Squeeze elbows, soften shoulders. Out, breath to lower. One more time, push down through the hip bones, top to the feet, and then keeping that lift in the chest, take the hands down, tuck the elbows in, and you might consider here pushing down through the hands to take a slightly higher version of your cobra, softening down through the shoulders and squeezing the bum. Let's take one more breath, open the chest, and from here we'll push up onto the knees, take the hands forwards, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, Downward facing dog. Super duper stuff, everybody. So when you get to your downward facing dog, take a few little pedals through the feet, then right knee, bend left knee, wiggle through the hips. Just feel into the backs of those calves, the backs of the hamstrings, feel the ankles. If you do lots of running and walking, it can sometimes feel really supportive to just roll over those toes, press the tops of the feet down into the mat, almost like you're pointing those toes. And then when you've had a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a sway, we'll find some stillness in our downward facing dog. Really push the ground forwards and down away from you and stretch the heels back and down. So you're anchoring down through hands, anchoring down through toes and heels. If the shoulders are punched up towards the ears, take a moment to soften the elbows, bend the elbows, and then wrap the elbows in and up. Draw the lower belly and the ribs in, and either gaze back between the thighs, or just gaze down there towards the mat, to the front of the throat and the back of the neck, and nice and open. Taking a breath in from here, lifting the heels up. And as you breathe out, bend the knees, press the chest back towards the thighs and then press the heels down. Two more like that, breathing in onto the toes. As you breathe out, bend the knees, press the chest back towards the thighs and then straighten the legs. One more time, feeling that ripple, that breath travel up through the spine. Slowly heels press down. Okay, lovely. From here, we'll press that left heel down into the mat and start to reach the right leg up. So it really feels like you're kicking out through that right heel. There's a nice long line of energy all the way up the right side of the body. Take a breath here in through the nose. And as you breathe out, draw your right knee in towards your forehead, round your upper back, come through to a hover here. Breathe in, reach out. And this time, right knee to right elbow, squeeze forwards to hover. Breathe in, lift up. And next time, draw that right foot forwards to step it lightly forwards in between the hands. Good, let that back knee come down and just take a few rocks front and back. Feeling into the toes, the ankles, the hips. And then as we come forwards, right knee is bending. Lift the arms up, come to low lunge. Good, so as we come through this flow the first time, we're gonna take it really nice and slow so we can feel into all of the postures and all of the movements. So you might keep those back toes untucked or you can untuck and then start to sink forwards and down. So you've got to stretch the front of that left hip flexor. Right knees over right ankle and you're really pushing down through the right foot and the top of the left foot to feel the support from the earth below and draw that energy up, squeezing through the bottom, rolling the lower back down. 
Let's take a breath in from here to reach the arms up, perhaps you look up. And on the out breath, twisting to the right side, right arm draws back, left arm draws forwards, and you let go of those shoulders. Draw the belly in, and keep the right knee on top of that right ankle. Open the, open the fingers, really nice open palms. Good, from here, right arm sweeps down, so both arms are lifting up front side. And this time we'll draw the left arm back, right arm forward, so you're opening the chest. Again, keep the hips square if you can, keep squeezing the bottom. Good, so just take those movements a few more times on your own. Almost like you're doing a bit of backstroke here with the arms. You might sink a little bit further forwards and down into that left hip flexor each and every time. Trying to get some movement here into the upper back if you have tight shoulders, this might feel quite intense, so you can let the arms soften a little bit. And this time as you reach forwards, both arms extend up, and then hands come to prayer at the heart center. Press the palms together, soften the shoulders down, keep the chest lifted, and we're gonna twist over to the right side. So we'll start by keeping hands in prayer at heart center, draw the shoulders down. And then if you want to go deeper, you can tuck that left forearm onto the outer edge of the right thigh. Keep squeezing down through those shoulders and then squeeze into the belly to lift the belly away from that right thigh. Good, perhaps you look over your right shoulder here. Lovely, so from here we're gonna transition into our warrior two. So we'll tuck those left toes underneath us. Start to lift the left knee up from the mat. And as you release from this twist, reach both arms up, lift up out of that front leg and then drop the left heel down, bend the right knee and open into your warrior two. Right arm reaches forwards, left arm reaches back. As you get here, take a few little pulses, lifting up in and out of that right leg. <sighs> Good. And then we'll find stillness here. Right knee is over right ankle. This is a super strong posture. So really feel yourself grounding here. And this is a great opportunity to Feel yourself present in this moment, but have one eye fixed forwards on the future. The spring energy is starting to rise, so you may feel as though you are almost ready to break out of that cocoon. Good, so from here we're going to flip the palms up, and just like we did in our baby cobras, tuck the elbows in, so you're starting to activate the upper back, the shoulder blades, soften the shoulders down, keep that squeeze in, see if you can feel that activation there as you squeeze the bum, and as you now start to straighten the arms, see if you can keep hold of that squeeze of the shoulder blades. Arms eventually reach away, palms facing up. Take a breath here in through the nose, and as you breathe out, straighten that right leg, reach the right arm up, coming into your reverse triangle. So you can keep that right foot flat or lift onto the right heel. Left hand might come to the right hip and maybe take the right hand behind the skull, bend the elbow, and just start to lift the head up to feel a deeper stretch there. Take one more breath in. Good, and to release. We're gonna keep the right leg straight, reach the right arm up and over, turn both sets of toes, to the long side of the mat as you now reach the right hand to the outer edge of the left foot. If you need to, you can bend that left knee or it might be that you just reach for the thigh, calf or ankle. So we're gonna take a little twist now. Left hand can come to left hip and then maybe that left arm reaches up to the ceiling. You keep extending the crown of the head forwards and take the weight forwards into the toes. Take one more breath there. And then slowly release, take the hands down to the mat, look to the right foot and walk both hands to frame that right foot, both sets of toes pointing forwards. Lovely, take a breath in, open the chest, sink the hips. And as you breathe out, spring that left foot forwards next to the right foot. We'll fold over the legs, just let go of the neck, let go of the arms, breathe into the whole back of the body. Good, so we'll find a flat back now. Crown of head extends forwards, belly to spine. And as you breathe out, bend the knees, press the hips back, lift up the arms, come to your chair pose. Draw the lower belly in and really send the hips back and down. Good, let's take a breath in. And on the out breath, straighten the legs, come to standing. As you come to stand, step the feet out wide, toes out, heels in. And either keeping the arms lifted or hands in prayer, start to sink the weight down so you find yourself coming into your yoga squat. 
If you need to sit on a block, then you can, or maybe that you're here. So wherever you are, just check the knees are tracking over the toes. Hands in prayer to start, and then we'll release the hands forwards and let the head fall. Chin in towards the chest, breathe into the lower back especially. That energetic gateway there, the lower tantian is where we can absorb a feeling of peace, no matter what is around us. Taking one more breath in. And out. Good. From here, hands come together. Release the index fingers, cross the thumbs. Point the index fingers down towards the floor. And then start to use the strength of your arms to extend the arms up. You have tight shoulders. This will feel pretty intense. From here, push down through the feet. Come all the way to standing. Keeping that interlaced grip. Press the feet together. Squeeze the bum. Press the feet down. Take a breath. Lift up. And on the out breath, take a little bend over to the right side, hips to the left. Breathing back through centre, long spine, out breath over to the left. Breathing back through centre, lift the chest up. Start to look up, open the throat and either keep the arms lifted or take the hands to the lower back. So you can take a gentle back bend here. The knees might be softening, scooping the chest up or if you're feeling strong with the spine, keeping the arms lifted, reaching up and reaching back. Good, slowly climb back through to centre. Soften the knees, press the chest forwards, come all the way down, hands release. Good, on the in-breath, find a flat back. And then as you breathe out, plant the palms, bend the knees, step back to high plank. And we'll take a flow from here. So elbows tuck in, lower all the way down to the belly with control. Untuck the toes, squeeze the elbows in. And as we breathe in, lift hands, chest, head from the mat, tuck those elbows in. Out breath, chest comes down. Two more baby cobras, breathe in, squeeze and lift. Out breath to take it down. One more breathe in, squeeze, lift, hold. Hands down, maybe lift into that slightly deeper version of your back bend. And then pushing onto the knees, tuck the toes, hips up, downward facing dog. Nice to bridge one. So take a breath here in through the nose. Breathe out, release, let it go. Lovely, for the left side now, left leg reaches up. Straight and square with those hips, keep pushing the ground forwards and down away from you. Taking a breath to lift. And as you breathe out, left knee squeezes in towards the nose and you round through the upper back. Breathe and reach it up. Out breath, left knee to left elbow. Carve that line with care, with control. Good, stretch it up and back to hold. Push the floor away. And then draw that left knee forwards to step the left foot in between the hands. When you get there, drop the back knee down and take a few little wiggles front and back, side to side, maybe a few little circular motions happening. Ah, good, keep breathing in and out through the nose. And then we'll find still this left knee over left ankle, back toes tucked or untucked, lift the arms up, coming into your low lunge. So really working here to draw the ribs in and then roll down through that lower back, squeeze the right butt cheek, and then perhaps you sink forwards to encourage this muscle across the front of the right hip to open. As we breathe in, we'll reach both arms up and then moving into that twist, left arm back, right arm forwards. Perhaps you look out over your left shoulder and you reach the arms away so you feel that movement in the upper back. Perhaps you take it a little further. Good, and then left arm sweeps down to reach up front side. From here, right arm back, opening the chest. Good, if at any point you need to take the hands onto the body to soothe the body, to calm the body, please do. But just start to find these little back stroke motions now so you can mobilize the upper back. Keep letting go through the jawline. Try not to clench the mouth or do your you know, like resting bitch face. <laughs> I've got really bad ones. I'm so blind, so I'm always squinting. Anyway, <laughs> so eventually both arms reach up front side and then hands will land in prayer at the heart centre. Take a moment to fix the gaze strong, press the palms to activate the obliques and then we'll twist to the left. So you can keep the chest lifted or tuck that right elbow to the outer edge of the left thigh. 
but whatever you'll do, keep reaching forwards through the crown as the lower back rolls down. So you're really twisting here from root to crown, getting into all of those energetic centers for one more breath. And then start to release as you tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, push down through that left heel to reach up. And then right heel drops down as you open into your warrior two on the left side. A few little pulses in and out of that left leg. And then we'll find stillness here. Left fingertips reach forwards, right fingertips reach back. Just check in, you're not leaning forwards or leaning back. See if you can feel or just intend to have the spine straight. Doesn't matter if it's not there, but just have that feeling if you can of stacking your head, shoulders, hips, all in one line, and then bending into that left leg. Good, we'll flip the palms up now, squeeze the elbows in, drop down through the shoulders, chest is open, feeling the activation. And then start to reach the arms away, keep the upper back activated, really switched on. So even though this posture is about the legs, strong legs, the upper body is working here. Take a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, left leg straightens, left leg reaches up, reverse triangle. Good, perhaps you lift onto that left heel, maybe the right hand wraps, perhaps left hand comes to the back of the head and you take one more breath to open the left side and then turning the left toes in, start to reach the left hand towards the outer edge of that right foot, ankle or the calf. You can keep the wrap if you like to, or start to extend the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. And if you feel this mostly in the calves and the hamstrings, try to take the weight forwards a little into the big toes. So again, that spine is nice and long, squeeze the belly in, one more breath and then releasing from that twist, walking the hands around to frame that left foot, both sets of toes point forwards, breathing through the nose, drop the hips. And as you breathe out, right foot steps forwards. Fold over the legs. Good, doing well ladies. As you breathe in, find a flat back belly to spine, and then releasing, bend the knees, hips back, lift up the arms, coming to your chair pose. Good, this time you can interlace the hands behind you, draw the knuckles down, open through the chest, and then push the floor away, come to stand. Keep that chest elevated, stepping the feet out, toes out, heels in. Take a moment to expand and open the throat, and then either keeping the hands behind or hands in prayer, perhaps they reach forwards as you find your way down into those hips. Any little wiggles when you get there, and then reach the fingertips forwards, let go of the head. Really decompressing the spine here. Slow, steady breath in through the nose. And out. Lovely, interlacing the fingers, release the index fingers, cross the thumbs, use the arm strength. Move into those shoulders, arms reach up, and then push the floor away, come to stand. Lovely, feet come together, push down through those feet, and as you breathe in, find length. Out breath, side bend over to the right side. Breathe in back through center, belly in, and then over to the left. Lifting up through center, stretching up, opening the throat, and then either squeezing the biceps to the ears as you take the chest back, or taking the hands to the lower back, and just taking it super gently here. Knees soft, tucking the elbows in, and just thinking about the lift rather than the going back. Good, coming back to center now, soften the hips back, draw the belly in, fold all the way down, let the hands go, let the head go. On your in-breath, flat back, belly to spine, and then bend the knees, plant the palms down, step back into high plank. And then we'll vinyasa from here, just like before, elbows tucking lower down, Untuck the toes, breathe in, baby cobra, chest up, hands up, elbows in. Slow breath out to lower, hands stay lifted. Two more, breathe in, squeeze up, lift. Out breath, take it down. Last time, breathe in, lift up to hold. Perhaps you take the hands down and you find a higher version, or you just enjoy that feeling of the lower cobra from there, rolling onto the knees, tuck the toes and lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. Let's see how we're doing. Anyone give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Yes, Hannah, nice one, Joe. Good, Louise. All right, ladies, you know what's gonna happen now. We're gonna roll through that faster 
probably two more times. So we're gonna see if we can go one breath per movement. We're not gonna have too much of the fluff in it this time. And I'm gonna give some options to progress. So rather than starting in low lunge, you can come into your high lunge if you like to. So just take a moment here to find a breath in, lift the heels, take a strong sigh out, drop the heels. Just do that one more time in your own way. Okay, ready to roll. Let's do this. So press that left heel down, reaching up through the right leg. This time we'll bend the right knee to open through the hip. Take a breath in through the nose. And as you breathe out, draw that right knee forward, step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Back knee lowered or back knee stays lifted. Lift up the arms. You're either coming into a low lunge or your high lunge. Just settle here for a moment. Take a breath in. And out breath, twisting to the right side, right arm back, left arm forward. Good, breathe in, arm sweep up front side. And then left arm back, right arm forwards. Both arms sweep up on the in breath. And hands in prayer now at the heart center. Start to journey into your twist, either hooking the elbow or keeping the chest lifted. Squeeze the belly off the right thigh. Press the left heel back. Good, slow to release. Lifting the arms up, lifting the left knee up if it's still lowered. Open into warrior two, left heel drops down, bend that right knee. Good, flip the palms up, squeeze the elbows in, activate the back muscles. And then keep the activation as you re-reach the arms. Flip the right palm, right arm reaches up and back, right leg straightens. Good, sweeping that right hand now to the outer edge of that left foot. Find your twist, either left hand to hip or left arm reaching up, crown of the head extends, forwards belly pulls in. Slow to release, sweep the hands along the mat, turn both sets of toes to the front of the mat, frame the right foot, lift the chest. And on your out breath, spring that left foot forwards, top of the mat. Find your breath in. And as you breathe out, bend the knees, lift up the arms, chair pose. Good, take a strong breath here in through the nose and then push down through the feet, lift the chest. Feet step out, toes out, heels in and we sink our way down into our squat. Keep the chest elevated this time, hands in prayer and then extend the fingertips forwards, cross the thumbs. Use that grip to reach up and start to lift up. Push down through the feet, squeeze the bottom. Good, at the top, feet come together, reach the fingertips up. Out breath, bend over to the right side. Let that in breath lift you back through center, belly pulls in. Out breath, over to left, really squeeze the bum here, lift up back through center. A version of your back bend that suits you, either soft or a little deep now as you open the chest. And then chest forward, hips back, fold all the way down. Let the arms go, let the head go. On an in breath, find a flat back. And then as you breathe out, bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into your high plank. And a version of your vinyasa that suits you this time, either knees up or down, lower all the way down to the belly. Find a version of cobra, lifting the chest, or maybe it's coming to your up dog this time. And then roll back through chin to chest, belly to spine, tuck the toes, lift the hips up. Downward facing dog, good stuff. Breathe in, lift up that left leg. Bend the left knee open through the hip. From here, left knee squeezes forwards to step left foot forwards, top of the mat. Right knee is lifted, all right knee is down, but you sweep the arms up, the hips are square. On the out breath, left arm back, right arm forwards. In breath, both arms up. Out breath, right arm back, left fingertips stay extended. On the in breath, sweep both arms up front side, hands in prayer, find your focus. And then twist over to the left, either keeping the chest lifted or right elbow hooks out of your left thigh. And you press back through that right heel, crown of head reaches forwards. Good, to release, let the gaze go first. And then arms follow as you lift up out of the hips and find warrior two on that left side. Good, rule the left palm split. Squeeze the elbows in, tuck the elbows in. And then keep the legs strong, keep the arms strong as you re-extend the arms, take a breath in. Out breath, left knee straightens, left arm reaches up and back. Good, folding now towards that right foot, left hand towards right foot, ankle or calf. And right arm reaches up towards the ceiling, twisting the length of the spine. Good, releasing, nice one. Sweep the hands towards the top of the mat, frame that left foot, both sets of toes point forwards. Breathing open the throat. 
and out breath, spring right foot forwards. Yeah, everyone's with me. Excellent. Fold over the legs. Find your breath in to drop the hips, bend the knees, lift up the arms. Chair pose. Good stuff, ladies. And then come to stand. Any version of the arms that you like here, step the feet out. Sink the hips down into your squat. When you get there, immediately extend the hands forwards into those cross thumbs and then engage through the thighs, use the heels, use the toes, squeeze the bottom to lift you up. Feet step together here, push down through the feet but lift the chest. Out breath, bend over the right side, squeeze the bum and the belly. Use the core and the legs to lift you up and then take that bend over to the opposite side. Breathing in, pass back through centre, any version of your back bend here, you can stretch the arms wide or reach the arms up and then fold the chest down, let go of the head. Good, as you breathe in through the nose, create a flat back, maybe this time the arms reach back like aeroplane wings and then you soften the knees, press the hands down into the mat, step back to your high plank and take a vinyasa in there, tucking the elbows in, lower the chest down. Good, as you breathe in, root down through the hip bones, tops of feet, peel the chest up, soften the shoulders, and then out breath, push yourself up and back, downward facing dog. Right, let's do it one more time. Take a breath here and through the nose, lift the heels up. As you breathe out, drop the heels. Right, you've got this. Let's take a breath in, right leg lifts up. And on the out breath, right foot steps forwards in between the hands. Strong breath here, concentrating, focusing, arms lift up, high lunge. And then right arm back, left arm forwards. Immediately sweeping those arms up and back to open left side. And then arms reach up, hands in prayer, taking it straight away to your twist. And as you release from that twist, warrior two. Straight away, right palm flips, reverse triangle, right leg straightens. And then taking the body into that twist, right hand to left foot, left arm extends up. Hands sweep now along the mat as you turn both sets of toes forwards and then spring left foot next to right foot, fold over the legs. On the in-breath, bend the knees, hips back, chair, and then come to stand. Feet step out wide, keep it going, keep that breath, sink down into the hips, keep the focus, hands in prayer, you've got it. Interlacing the fingers now, push down strong through the feet, lift the chest, and on the out-breath, take that side bend over to the right. In breath, chest open, out breath over to the left. In breath, pass back through center, extend long, and then find a back bend here. Really squeeze the bum, open the chest, and then dive the chest forwards. Come all the way down to release the neck. On an in breath, flat back. And as you breathe up, bend the knees, plant the palms down, step back, plank, and vinyasa, hovering down, maybe coming through chaturanga this time. Lifting into your up dog, softening the shoulders, and then pushing the floor away. Back to downward facing dog. Last side, left side, breathing left leg up. Out breath, left foot steps, top of the mat. Good, push down through the left heel to lift the arms up, high lunge. And as you breathe out, twist to the left side. In breath, arms up. Out breath, right arm back, left arm forward. Breathing, right arm extends, front side. Hands in prayer, find that twist. Good, releasing from that twist. Open the arms into warrior two, left palm flips. Reverse triangle into that twist, sweeping the body down. Keeping the movements mindful here. So take the hands to the front of the mat and then string that right foot forwards next to the left foot, fold over the legs. On your in-breath chair, bend the knees, draw the lower belly in and then come to stand. Step the feet out, sink those hips down. How are we doing? Chair, um, sinking the hips down into our squat. Reach those fingertips forwards and then lift the arms up. Push down through the feet. Come to stand, feet together. Push the feet down, reach up. Out breath, bend right side. Breathe in, lift up. Out breath, left side. Breathe in, back through centre, open the chest and then pass all the way through, fall down. Good, create a flat back, reach the crown forwards and then bend the knees, press the hands down, step back into your high plank, hold your high plank for a breath and then slowly take it down to the belly. Slow, gentle breath in, cobra, and then push here back up onto the knees. 
come into your child's pose. Either take the knees out nice and wide or knees and feet together, hips back, arms reach forwards or arms reach back. And just breathe here into any and all sensation that you feel. If it feels better for you to sit up, it often does for me at the end of an intense flow, please be my guest. This is an ideal moment to check in with your intuition, to use your own discernment and take yourself into the position of rest that serves you best, right here and right now. Let's slow it down. Let's come to that pause. And as you come to that pause, know deeply that all of the energy that you've worked to release through that fairly intensive flow is having the opportunity now as you find stillness to settle down onto your body. As you breathe here in and out through the nose, you are once more calming the nervous system. Having moved with your breath, you have flushed freshly oxygenated blood around the body into all the parts of the body that need it, all those parts that are often missed. So you are basically healing yourself here now from the inside out. Let's stay here for one more breath, wherever you are. And release. Lovely, so if you are in your child's pose, just start to walk your hands in towards your knees and then round yourself up so that you're in a kneeling position. From here, we're gonna take the hands behind us push down through the palms and just start to lift the chest. This might be enough for you, belly in, chest open, or start to lift the hips up off the heels and feel the front of the thighs stretching, kind of the cheek back, chin in. You can look up or you can drop the head back. But just staying with that for one more breath and then slowly, carefully releasing. As you come back through to center, we're gonna stay sitting on the heels and we're gonna take a counter stretch for the spine. This is our rabbit pose. So if you know rabbit well, please feel free to go into it or follow along with me because it's really important that you don't move the head and the neck around once you get down into it. So knees and feet are together, sitting on the heels. And then like you're gonna put your hands into your back pockets, slide the hands down to grab the heels. Thumbs are outside, baby fingers are inside. Tuck the chin towards the chest, draw the belly in, and then start to round down. It's almost, it will be like you have, just like me, double chin effect, rounding down, forehead to knees, crown of head to floor, and then push down through the feet, pull on the heels, so you can start to lift the hips up. Keep the head still, draw the belly in, and then pull the shoulders up towards the ceiling, away from the ears, as you keep pushing the feet down into the mat. Breathe into the whole back of the body here. This is another great opportunity to decompress the spine, to draw that sense of and feeling of peace into the lower tension at the lower back and to release tension from the shoulders and the neck. Great, Joe. See if you can find just one more inch of height there as you release the shoulders from the ears. That's it and lift the hips up. Well done. And then slowly, carefully release. Keep the chin in towards the chest the whole time if you can. As you come up, take your time to release. So it can feel quite intensive. So as you come up, just roll those shoulders and let the hands just rest, palms open, either together in the lap. Breathe into the sensations across the chest, the shoulders, the upper back. Take a breath in through the nose. And let it go. Well done. So we'll shift ourselves now onto our bottoms and straighten out through that right leg. 
bend the left knee and then tuck the left foot in so it connects with the inner edge of that right thigh. We're gonna turn ourselves so we're facing towards this right leg. Excuse me, take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. And then as we breathe out, start to fold the body towards that right leg. So we're going for a compression here. So don't worry about this right leg being straight, but see if you can with an interlaced grip, create a little basket for that right foot. Right knee can be bent as much as you need to, because I'd like you to take your forehead and press it down on top of that right knee. Squeeze the belly in. And this is another great way to start activating the parasympathetic nervous system. Also, we can activate the thyroid gland here, but we need to get the forehead pressing onto that right knee. Also a great opportunity to stretch through the kidneys, opening the lower back. If you have that connection of forehead to right knee and you're holding the foot, you can start to straighten out through that right leg, but keep forehead to knee the entire time if you can. Take one more breath and then slowly release. Start to reach all the way up. Reach the arms up and then hands come down the side. You're going to the other side. So this time right knee bends in, left leg extends. You'll probably notice here that one side of you is a little more open than the other. My right hip is like super tight so my knee comes up. So with the knees, just try to use the strength of the thighs to draw the knees down. Angling yourself towards that left leg, taking a breath, arms reach up. And as you breathe out, start to fold over that leg, bending the knee as much as you need to. And then interlacing, like a little basket underneath that left foot. Press the left, press the, the only forehead that you have, not only your left forehead, into your left knee. And just breathe here, draw the belly in. Feel the extension through the lower back, the compression the front side into the throat. Really great to target that energetic center there. Sometimes can feel a little blocked and a little stuck if we're not speaking our truth, which lots of people I know are finding really hard at the moment. So just breathe through any tightness that you feel and then slowly lift up to release. Hands come down beside you and one last stretch here seated. We're gonna extend both legs forwards now, flex the feet, and then use the hands to draw the bottom back. So you're really sitting high on your sit, sit bones. Squeeze the belly in, take a breath, arms reach up. And as you breathe out, fold forward once more. So this time we can either interlace or we can hook the peace fingers around the big toes. And this here, we wanna feel the chest to be nice and open to start. So if you need to bend the knees to elevate the chest, please do. Draw the shoulders down, take a breath, lift the chest, and as you breathe out, start to take the chest forwards. Elbows wrap outside those legs. And if you can keep the extension and elevation of the chest, then you might start to kick up through the heels, straighten the legs. Take one more squeeze there, and then slowly release. Take the hands behind you, lovely. Bend the knees, feet out wide. Just a couple of those little windscreen wiper motions. Getting into the hips. And then back to center. Well done ladies. So this is the perfect opportunity now to put on your socks. Any jumpers that you need for our final few stretches before we get into final relaxation. Almost on time. Got six minutes left, just the perfect amount of time. So once you've got on your bits and bobs that you need, come to lay down on your back. And once you've got down to your back, take a nice full body stretch, open out the arms and the legs, nice and wide. And then as you breathe out, hug the knees in towards the belly, give the knees a nice tight squeeze in, and just hold it there, a few little rocks over to the right side, rocks over to the left side, and then passing back through center. Keep the knees squeezing in. Roll the lower back down, roll the shoulders down, and then we'll let go of the knees, plant the feet down to the mat, feet out, hips width apart, knees out, hips width apart, arms reaching down. Shuffle the heels a little further in towards the body, Looking up, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, press down through the lower back to scoop the hips up. Lifting up into your bridge. 
Keep checking in with the knees and the hips. Arms can stay down alongside you. Arms can come into a little bit of a diamond shape or you can in even interlace underneath the lower back. Stay there for one more breath and slowly release down. When you get down, take a moment to shuffle the feet out as wide as the mat and just let the knees fall in towards one another. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Close your eyes. Slow, gentle breath in. And out. Good, so we'll take one final twist now. Press the feet together, press the knees together, and then cross the right thigh over the left thigh. Reach the arms out into a capital T shape, shuffle the hips a little over to the right, and then let both knees fall over to the left side. Left hand can come to the belly. You might start to extend through that right leg. Gaze out to the right. Breathe into the right side. Let go through the shoulders. You have made it. You've all done an absolutely fantastic job. You should be super proud of yourselves. Super proud of you all. Take one more breath here. And then slowly unravel. See if you can really engage your core muscles to lift the knees up. And then shuffle the hips back through to centre. This time left knee over the right, hips to the left. Knees fall over to the right side. Gazing out over that left shoulder. Two nice slow breaths here. And then slowly release, passing back through center, unravel the legs. Give the knees one final squeeze in, as well as any lasting bits of movement that you feel you need to take. And then when you're ready, we'll start to come down to lay down on our backs. Oh, everyone's there already. Nicely done. What a great team. So let's open the legs out nice and wide, just taking up some space here, as much room as you have. Roll the shoulder blades underneath you. Just gently tucking the chin in, feeling the back of the skull, the back of the neck. Take a gentle, sweet breath here in through the nose. And sigh. Two more breaths like that. Drawing the awareness in. Letting everything else fade away. Everything here exactly as it should be. Nothing need be added, nothing need be taken. Just start to breathe now, slowly and steadily, in through the nose, the belly will rise. Out through the nose, the belly will fall. Just feeling that low, slow flow of breath. And knowing right here and right now, that you are absolutely perfect, just as you are. And there is only love for you here. So I'll leave you here resting. Know you've done a fantastic job. I hope that you all sleep really, really well. And I'm sending each and every one of you a big warm hug. Take care, my friends.